following video asks us to graph the equation 3x plus 2y equals 6 using a t-chart. When we do this, uh, what we're trying to do is find out what all the coordinates, all the xy coordinates uh, are that make this equation true. That's what a graph is. So what we do is we pick values for x and then we find their corresponding values for y. I usually start with negative 4, 2, 0, 2, and 4. Those are just a good round numbers to work with. Um, so I plug in negative 4 for x, I get 3 times negative 4 plus 2y equals 6. Now it's just a matter of solving for y. Right? You plug in your x value, then you go solve it for y. So to solve this, I get negative 12 plus 2y equals 6, so add 12 to both sides. You get 2y equals 18, divide by 2, y equals 9. So putting it, when I plug in negative 4 for x, I get 9 out for y. So now I plug negative 2 in for x. So 3 times negative 2 plus 2y equals 6. So negative 6y plus 2y equals 6. So we're going to add 6 to both sides. Once we add 6 to both sides here, then we're going to need to divide to find out what y is. But again, the whole point of this is you're finding coordinates, x and y coordinates, that make your equation true. So that's going to give it y equals 6. 0 we love. We're going to talk about this later on. Plugging in 0 is great. So you're going to have 3 times 0 plus 2y equals 6. Um, 3 times 0 is 0. That just goes away. So you end up with 2y equals 6, which is y equals 3. So when you plug in 0 for x, you get uh, the y value of 3. Now you plug in 2 for x. And you get 3 times 2 plus... Uh, 2y equals 6, you're going to have 6 plus 2y equals 6. Well, when you subtract 6, you get 0 on the right side of the equation. So 2y equals 0, which means y has to be 0. Because when you divide both sides by 2, 0 divided by 2 is just 0. So whenever you plug in 2, you get 0 out. Actually, those two coordinates, the 0, 3 is the what's called the y-intercept, and then 2, 0 is actually what's called the x-intercept. It's where our line is going to cross the x and the y-axis. Last one is plugging in 4. 3 times 4 plus 2y equals 6. Again, you're just plugging in the x value, solving for y. That's all you're doing on these problems. Plug in the x value, solve for y. Plug in the x value, solve for y. You're doing it over and over again. So, subtract 12 from both sides, and you get 2y equals negative 6. So, y equals negative 3. Now, the problem is just a matter of graphing each one of those points. So, negative 4, 9... This is the first one we're going to try to graph. You're going to find out on mine, that's going to be a little bit above it, but you can kind of, you can kind of add on a little bit to your graph to make this work. And so it's going to be um, just a little bit above the, the line. So negative 4, 9, then we're going to do negative uh, 2, 6. Uh, negative 4, 9, I'm going to graph because it's so high, and then do 0, 3, 2, 0, and 4, negative 3. So I've graphed all those lines. As you can see, there's a very straight line through those points. So I'm, I have a nice little straight line feature here. And I'm going to go ahead and put it through those points. And that represents all the points, x and y, that make this equation true. That's the whole goal of this. Any point on that line I could pick, if I took that point off and plugged it in, it would make it true. Now, the problem is, uh, it's very difficult on this one to find other points in the one I picked, though I can pick this one down here in the bottom right corner. If you look at it, it's point 0.6 for x, comma, negative 6. So if I plug that in back there in my original equation, 3 times 6 plus 2 times negative 6, well, that's 18 minus 12, which equals 6. And so we just showed that a point on our line also makes that equation true. So remember, a line is all the points that make the equation true.